All over the world people are seeing this blue screen of death and this is not cyber attack and this is not related to Microsoft server crash. So many people are spreading wrong information through the videos and the culprit behind this issue CrowdStrike. This is a cyber security company because of some sensor driver update you are seeing this issue and because of them so many organizations facing this issue like school, universities, metro stations, big IT companies and airlines and so many flights cancelled in US because of this. But let me tell you I'm going to fix this in this video and I will tell you everything about it. And the biggest myth is like so many people are saying this is a Microsoft server crash. Nothing related to Microsoft, right? Microsoft didn't do anything in this. As you can see, CloudStrike is a cyber security company which does businesses around the world through the software sales and investigating the major hack and whatever hacking thing happening. Basically, they provide the security to Windows system. The company also helps to run cyber security investigation for the US government. For example, CloudStrike has tracked North Korea hack for more than a decade the company says right now you understand this is a paid service if you are using this definitely your system will get affected best part is Linux and Mac OS users are very happy because nothing related to Mac OS and Linux this is just only for Windows on Twitter it is trending so this is a person from CrowdStrike also saying like first day at CrowdStrike post a little update and taking an afternoon off and it also got 14 million views so this is just funny okay so how you can fix it very easily I already shared so many information about it like you can just go into safe mode and boot your system and navigate to this directly like C Windows System32 drivers so basically this is a sensor driver update if you are using this CrowdStrike service definitely you will see this kind of folder here and in this directory you need to delete this file dot says so delete it or you can also rename it so after that you can boot normally if you are a developer you got the point don't push your code on production without testing properly right so basically this is a news around the world I hope you are following me on Twitter to get the latest update and also on thread i have already posted about it if you are following me you already know about it